<laughs> Go. They're fine. All right. So state your names and your role in the band. Josh Corliss, um, guitarist. Um, then Shaner, bassist. I'm Stephen and Andres, and I do guitar, vocals, and etc. I'm Alex, and I play drums. I'm Mike, and I do vocals, and yeah. Beer. <laughs> and beer. <laughs> so can you guys give a little bit of background information on band? Um, started a few years ago, and uh, Josh and I got together after a heavy drinking phase of mine. It was a way out to a rebirth of life. And I started uh, writing some new tunes and showed Josh, who was actually my guitar mentor. And we started writing tunes together and hired a drummer. And uh, the rest fell into place with Steve and Vince. We went through a couple of lineup changes and uh, it was kind of a tumultuous time, really rocky thing. and. Uh, Eventually, kind of found its place, and here we are gelling together now. So, how would you guys describe your music to those who haven't heard you guys before? How would we describe our music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> um, positive resolve. Uh, maybe a sad situation or anything that's troubling, such as anxiety or sadness or anything of that sort. Something that you deal with on a daily basis. But uh, there's always a positive resolve to anything that we write, you know, like, like fight is about maybe having anxiety and having problems and, you know, and then you, you get through it, you fight through it and you kind of get to the other side. It's all about uh, indecision the same way. There's a couple of songs that are the same way and it's like a negative situation that finds itself with a positive resolve. And that's kind of what the band name actually means. It's kind of... Uh, party at a funeral, you know, to celebrate that. But the fun that very mm -hmm. may have answered a couple of questions in that. So, um, this is probably going to be like a really stupid question. But, um, how do you guys actually feel about playing the show with the art of dying? Like, how is it going to be? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we're going to have a bigger show. Wonder wonder cool. step up the line. Didn't Maybe. really hear of them before Mike told me, and I listened to them. So I don't know how stoked. I don't know how to, how excited them they are for it, but I mean, this, Art of Dying is like a band that I've had a huge adoration for maybe over the last four or five years. But um, it's kind of like we have this opportunity to be the main support and opener for them, and I I love their music, especially Get Through This and uh, Raining, which features Adam Gontier, my biggest idol, and uh, to open for this band that I've loved their music from day one, since I've heard anything they've done, and I, it's, it's huge, it's monumental to me, like, it's like something I can relate to musically, and I don't know, guys are just cool, I watch interviews of them, and it's it's pretty wild, it's pretty cool, huge, huge uh, adoration for that. What um what other bands would you guys like to eventually be? Green Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love Green them. Day fans. Green Day. Mm -hmm. the Adam Gontier, uh, Three Days Grace, uh, Santa Sonia. I mean, right now Santa Sonia. I'm not sure if uh, how many people. I'm sure they're getting widely known right now. But uh, Scott Stein. It, it, uh, it, it it's Adam Gontier and Mike Mushak of Stained. And they're in this new band, and I'm, if I could meet either one of them, Aaron Lewis or Three Days Grace, any any of the people in that kind of circle, you know, if I were to meet Scott Staff or anybody in that in that band, Mark Tremonti, of course Steve Perry of Journey. I mean, that's huge. I mean, that's a way like far across.